The woman stood staring silently out at the river which ran under the bridge she was stalled out on. It was one of the few rivers that ran toward the north instead of south, a fact which so many didn't even realize, even after having lived by it or having crossed over it so many times. She was thinking about how many people must have crossed and how many would cross, even as she was standing here. But something was odd. The usually busy traffic bridge was now empty, aside from her and her sob. At first, after she'd called the car service to come rescue her, she noticed that it was empty, but failed to recall if it had been before she broke down. Either way, it was empty now, and it was strange. She could have sworn that it had been sunny and warm out as well, being a summer's day, but now it was chilly, and the sky and water that led to the ocean connected by a bay was gray as slate. She shuddered, hugging herself against the wind. Did something happen, or maybe something was going on someplace on the island and everyone was already there? She began to get impatient after a while and began walking in the direction the car service would be coming, just to get her blood flowing through her legs, which felt stiff from the chilly air. As she walked, she became aware that the sounds of the river, distant traffic, birds, and even her own feet on the asphalt sounded muffled, if she could hear them at all. There was a thick fog descending on the bridge, so she couldn't even see the river any more. All she could see was a rolling fog in front of her. She turned around to look back at her car, but it was concealed from her view. Wow, she thought, letting out a long breath. So strange. She walked for a ways and then decided to turn around and walk back toward the car, but she couldn't find it. She began walking in a figure-eight pattern from one side of the bridge to the other and round and back again, trying to find the one spot she kept missing where her car surely is just sitting there waiting for her. After pacing back and forth for several hours, growing more and more anxious as well as bored, she finally saw headlights cutting through the fog bank. The vehicle came up over the Bridge of Lions and slowly inches sway through the massive fog bank. It was eerie as fuck, thought the man driving as he peered through the windshield, looking for tear lights ahead of him, but there was nothing but the fog. Knowing how easy it would be to hit the side of the bridge and shudder, possibly even flip over and into the deep waters below, sent shivers through him. What was that legend about the bridge? The haunted bridge of lions, lady of lions, ghost of lions, or something similar? Well, it sure fit the part right now. He continued forward through the fog. The woman began waving as the vehicle approached, and when it didn't begin to slow down, she stood out right in front of it so she'd be illuminated in the cart's headlights. The driver peered ahead through the dense mist, and then suddenly in the beam of headlights saw a woman with long streaming dark hair furled all around her as if she were on her back in the water, hair floating in contrast around her stark white face like a dark lion's mane. He didn't have time to stop, tried to break, but it was too late. He drove straight into her. He jumped out and ran around where she had just been. He was expecting to find her bloody and hopefully not dead, but he couldn't find her. He looked under the car, around the car, even inside the car, and then began walking ahead a ways and then back. Where the fuck is she? He continued pacing until he lost sight of the car, and when he walked back toward it, it seemed it should be right there. But it wasn't. Could he have passed it? He began walking in a figure-eight pattern from one side of the bridge to the other, and round and back again, trying to find the one spot he'd surely missed and where his car was surely awaiting him. No longer concerned about the woman anymore, he just wants to get the hell off this bridge and back home. But where the hell is his car? It has to be here. Somewhere. Has to be. The woman, still waving her arms above her head, realizes at the last second he doesn't see her, so she closes her eyes and braces for the impact of his car. After what seems an impossibly long time and no crushing or slamming sensations or sounds, or or anything. She opens them and looks around but still sees nothing but fog. So she starts making her way back to her car again, walking from one side of the bridge to the other, and round and back again in an infinity-eight pattern, 
Knowing the car just has to be in a spot she's missed. It just has to be. Has to be here. Somewhere. Has to be here. Has to be here. Somewhere.